Hello guys, today we are discussing on the topic essay. First of all, we must go through the definitions of essays. Michael Mondine is considered as the father of essays. He wrote in French and later his essays are translated into English. Father of English essays is Francis Bacon. Then the going through the definitions of essays. Dr. Samuel Johnson, the authentic lexicographer in English. A lexicographer is one who compiles a dictionary. And Samuel Johnson is an authentic source for many things in English literature. And he defined essay as a loose sally of the mind, an irregular, undigested piece. To him, an essay is not the product of a premeditated art. It is a loose sally of the mind. Sally means attack. Loose sally of the mind means uh, something uh, which going through our mind and we want to express it in uh, writing an essay. Something uh, emotional is composed like this. We termed it as poetry. Spontaneous or flow of emotions. Here a loose sally of the mind, thought. Thus, this is not a premeditated art, pre-planned writing. That's what Dr. Samuel Johnson defined as an essay. Francis Bacon, an essay is dispersed meditation. It just uh, contradictory to uh, Johnson's definition. It is a dispersed meditation, a product of deep thought. Then Bacon's essays are naturally didactic. He want to convey some message to useful message to the society or, or the readers. At first he uh, wrote for his friends. Then uh, it got wide acclaim and he found it useful to uh, many people and later he published it for the public reading. Then Bacon says these are aphoristic in style. Aphorism means crispy sayings. Crispy and pragmatic sayings. Wise sayings. For educating the people or the reader. And Bacon uh, was a learned person. He was raised to, uh, to the uh, post of Lord Chamberlain as the synonym to an attorney general and such a learned person. He also uh, wrote in Latin, French, etc. But when we consider him as an English essayist, he wrote essays on various subjects. All were didactic in nature. Then pragmatic, useful for life. Then um, coming to Lamb, he was not a learned person. His essays are personal. Also, the essays normally contains pathos, which makes us sympathetic for the reader, especially in Dream Children in a Reverie. That's the essay prescribed for us and 
surely we will feel sympathetic for him in the end then coming to gk chesterton he was not as he is not as the prince of paradox because he used paradoxical language in essays